Hello and welcome to the cabinet learning series. In this video we're going to be going over how to create efficiency using barcodes. And we're going to do that inside a batch, which some of you might be familiar with already. So to create efficiency with barcodes we're going to configure batch. So again we're going to set up batch so that we can run these through. We're going to create our naming templates um, which will allow us to name the documents with barcodes that we're running through. Uh, we're going to go over how to load these documents into Batch and then file them into Cabinet Safe or Safe Cloud if you're on the cloud. And we're going to talk a little bit about how to generate these barcodes for your documents. So I'm going to go ahead and jump out of here really quick. First thing I want to do is show you the set of documents that I have. So right here, I have a set of 34 documents and for each document up in the right hand corner we have two barcodes one containing the customer number and one containing the invoice number. And we're going to use those to automatically file these documents away. So if I come here to safe, right now I have my customer cabinets open. I have a different folder for each customer. And so now I want to file these documents into safe. Now some of you might be familiar with batch already, some of you might not. And so batch is right down here in the bottom left. We can click on this button here and it'll open up our batch module. And right now I'm just in manual file mode. And this is what you guys are most likely familiar with. And what I can do here is I can either scan directly into batch or I can go file, open, and bring documents into batch. So I'm just going to go grab an invoice. And any documents that I load will create a thumbnail over here on the left. And once I click on it, I can see a full preview of the image to the right hand side. I can zoom in if I need to. Then once I have my document, I can go through here in the middle section and pick my repository. All right, I know this is my vendor's cabinet. I pick my folder, my naming template. It names the document for me, and then I hit File Document. So again, I've brought in my document. I've told it where to file it. I've chosen which template I want to use, and I filed it away. So again, that's a manual file in Batch. What we're going to be doing today is, if we come up here to the toolbar at the top, where it says Manual File Mode, click on it, you'll have an option for Auto. And this is what we're going to focus on today. So remember what I just did here with that one invoice, and I'm actually going to load my barcoded invoices and bring those in, and you'll see how much faster that is. So I'm going to click on Load here and hit Invoices. First thing it's telling me is it's saying it's detected a multiple page document. Do I want to split the document into single pages or do I want to keep all of those pages together as one document? I'm going to go ahead and split them out because I know they're individual documents in this whole set. All right, so it split them all up. We have a total of 34. And I can click on the document again. I'll see a preview over here to the right. And then I come here to the middle column and it's a little bit different. All I have to do here is pick a separation template. And we'll go through how to set these up, but a separation template you'll have for each different type of document that you're running through with barcodes. So I'm gonna pick my Uniform Masters template, and now all I have to do is hit Process Pages. Okay. So once it's finished processing all the pages, we can see here in the middle column, it's used those barcodes to tell us what, well, it knows what cabinet it's gonna file into from the separation template. Then it knows which folder to go into because it's pulled that number from this customer number barcode, so it's going to put it in the correct customer folder. They're all going to the Orders tab. And if I hover over here, it'll show us the title of the document. And the title of the document says the word invoice, has the number sign, and then it has the actual invoice number that's pulled off of the second barcode on the document. And then once it's processed all these pages, to finish filing, all I have to do is click this File to Safe button, and there they go. So it's going to go file each one of these documents. If there's already a folder for this customer, it'll file it in that customer folder. If there's not, then it will actually create a new folder for us. So I'm going to hit find here to refresh our folder list. And there we go. And then now if we go into one of these folders, we see our documents here. It's under the orders tab. If I highlight it, I can see a preview over here to the right. So again, uh, we've loaded the documents here into batch that have barcodes on it. We have a barcode for the customer number and a barcode for the invoice number. It's reading that customer number to know which folder to put it into and it's reading that invoice number barcode to know how to title the document. 
so let's actually jump in and talk a little bit about how to set this up. So the first thing that I did here was I came to load and I clicked on invoices and all of my documents were brought in. And the way this works is we actually set it up to where load is looking at a certain folder on your system so that you can drag and drop documents in that folder, um, other employees can drag and drop folders, or you can scan from a network scanner to that folder. And once you do, we can point to that folder and pull from there. So I'm going to edit this load template that I have here. <clears throat> this one's named invoices. It's pointing to a folder on my desktop. Then we have an option for number of documents to load. So every time I hit the load button, it'll bring in this amount of documents. So I have a number five. So every time I hit that load button, it'll look in that folder and bring five documents that it sees in there. Um, you can have this number be set to whatever you want, so you can work on as many documents or as few documents as you would like. Uh, then you choose which file extension you want to load. So just tell it what kind of documents you're bringing in. Uh, then you want to tell it how you want it to handle multiple page documents. You can have it always split multi-page documents into individual pages that can then be filed separately. You can never split multiple pages, so keep all those documents or all those pages as one document. Or you can have it prompt you like it did me. So every document that I load, it's going to come up with a prompt saying that it's found a multiple page document and it's going to ask me for each individual one if I want to split it or not. So you can set that option there. And then you have a load PDF action um, of whether or not you want to be able to convert these documents to a TIFF. Um, when you load them or not. So you can make that choice there, just depending on what kind of document you'd rather work with. All right, so once you have that set, I can just hit save here. And then any documents that are filed into that folder, so we'll come back here. I'm going to copy this barcode document. And I have my load folder here on my desktop. And it's empty right now, so I'm going to paste these documents in there. And then if I come back here to save, there's some documents in there and I can just hit load, choose my invoices template that I want to load from, and there we go. So it's telling me right away I have a multiple page, I want to split it up, and there we go. Alright, so the next step is setting up the separation template. So what I'm going to do here is if you want to create a new template, you can click on this little plus icon here and that will bring up a blank template. And if you want to edit the template that you currently have selected, you can click on this ellipse. So that's what I'm going to do here. So now we bring up my template information window. And the first thing I want to do is give it a template name so I know which template to use with which documents. Um, next thing is we have a fixed pages per document. Now by default, if this is left at zero, like it is now, the system, once it finds a barcode, any following documents will be attached to that original barcoded page until it sees another document with a barcode on it. So that way you can, it doesn't matter how long your documents are, they can be two pages, six pages, eight pages, doesn't matter. It's going to say everything's a part of the document that it sees until it sees another barcode. All right, um, then we want to tell it where to file. So we have a cabinet here, and we can either say static, so which is what it's set to now, which means all the documents for this template will always go into the same cabinet. Or if you have a barcode on the documents containing which cabinet they need to go into, you can choose from barcode number. And this, you can tell it which barcode on the page. So counting from top left to bottom right, you can count down and tell it which barcode you want to pull the information from. So for instance, barcode number one would be this customer number barcode. And barcode number two is this invoice number barcode. But for cabinet, I'm going to keep it static. And then for folder, we're going to use barcode number one because that's our customer number and we're going to use that to file the, file the documents in the correct folders. And then we can tell it which tab. So again, for tab, we have a static option if we want every document to go into the same tab. Or if the tab is located in a barcode on the page, you can tell it which barcode you want to use to know which tab to file these documents. Once you've told the uh, system where to file the documents, we want to give the document a title. So we have this title field here. So anything, I'm going to delete this part here, anything that I just type in, so if I type in the word invoice and then the number sign, that's static. That'll always stay that way for every document. And then if I want items to um, automatically populate the document title, I can click on this ellipse here and it gives me a few options. So I can copy this segment here. You have all your segments in this left hand column that you'll copy. So I'll copy the segment here and then you can get an example of what they'll populate over here on the right. So we have a bunch of different date and time 
masks um, that will pre-populate today's date, and then you have an option to populate the document title with a barcode. So I'm going to use barcode number two, which has that invoice number, um, to, to help name the document. So I can just paste that segment here, and there we go. All my documents will have that barcode number two as a part of the title. So then we just tell it which manager and extension, and if you want to put any security or retention on these documents. All right, so moving on from the settings tab, we have, I'm going to jump post file actions right now. We're going to come back to that. I'm going to jump over here to the barcode settings tab. So just a few things in here. Um, tell it which barcode you're using. So in these documents, I'm using a code 128. Tell it how many barcodes you want, on, how many barcodes are expected on the page, how many barcodes you're using. Uh, I'm using two, so I have two set there. And then you want to tell it how to scan, so which direction. I'm setting from top to bottom. So just knowing how your barcodes are arranged on the page is important so you can tell it how to scan. Then lastly, we have our post file actions tab. So this allows us to do things with the documents after they're filed. We can have it automatically go through a workflow rule or go to a user or group. Um, or we can check the box for email enabled. And you can do both, but um, once you check the box for email enabled, this will actually send an email address to whichever email you have in this email send to field. So I can put my email in here now. You can customize the subject and the body, and you can choose whether or not you want to send the document. You can send just the email without the attachment, so more of just a notification for the person getting it, or you can send the email with the attachment so they can get the notification as well as the document itself. All right, and then once that's all set, you can just hit save and begin processing your pages. And then the last thing that I want to go over in this video is we mentioned generating barcodes, how to get these barcodes on your documents. So first thing most important is on if you go Google, you can download a free barcode font. It's a free three of nine. So if you open up, I'm going to open up a PDF here. Minimize all this. All right, there we go. So I have a PDF here, and you'll notice I have a barcode. If you download that barcode 3 of 9 font, and any program that you can add text into now, I can type in here, and under my drop down for all my different fonts, I have this free 3 of 9 extended. And what that allows me to do is simply type as if I normally would, but it's going to use the barcode font, so I can actually type barcode directly onto the document. And one thing to keep in mind when you're working on these documents is make sure that your barcodes are a minimum of um, font 20 or size 20. Um, we want to make sure the system can read the barcodes. So make sure it's at least a 20 font. And I'm going to change this back over to a readable font. Any, <clears throat> any barcode that you create, you want to make sure has an asterisk in front and behind the data that you want to capture. So you can see here I have this asterisk, then the word test, or for, for a more real world example, I want to use the invoice number. I can see the invoice over here, 536524. So that's how I'd want it to look before I turned it into the barcode font. That's just something that's required for the system to be able to read barcodes. And then once I have the asterisk and the information that I want, again, I can just change it back. To a barcode font. Now, this is good. you're not necessarily going to use this method to create your barcodes on your documents because, as you can tell, this might be a little bit of a manual process and kind of defeat the point of automating your barcodes. Um, what we found is most people, uh, it'll depend on your accounting system. So once you download that barcode font, a lot of people in their accounting systems have the ability to create templates for their bills. So any bills that you're creating in your accounting system, you have control over how they look. So what they'll do is they'll add a field for the customer number and the invoice number, but just make them that barcode font. So every time they print out a bill or an invoice, it'll already have that barcode on it. So that way, once they're scanning them into the system, everything's ready to go. Okay. So just to kind of recap, we've gone over configuring batch. I've shown you what um, 
how you can create efficiency using barcodes. Uh, you created a naming template. We've gone over how to set up that load template so you can bring in your documents faster. Um, we filed them into safe, or you can. It works the same for safe cloud. And also, we've gone over how to generate barcodes for your documents. Now, if you want any more information or have questions or anything, feel free to visit us at cabinetpaperless.com, or give us an email. Uh, shoot us an email at info at cabinetpaperless.com, or give us a call at 800-621-6501. Appreciate your time. We look forward to you in the next learning series. Thank you.